नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर अंकित पारक एंड आई वर्क एज अ कंसल्टेंट इन पीडियाट्रिक पल्मोनोलॉजी एलर्जी एंड स्लीप मेडिसिन एट चिल्ड्रंस चेस्ट क्लिनिक न्यू डेली सो इन दिस वीडियो वील ब्रीफली टॉक अबाउट स्वेट क्लोराइड टेस्टिंग सो स्वेट क्लोराइड टेस्टिंग इज बेसिकली रिक्वायर्ड फॉर डायग्नोसिस ऑफ अ कंडीशन नोन एज सिस्टिक फाइब्रोसिस इन चिल्ड्रन विद सिस्टिक फाइब्रोसिस द स्वेट द स्वेट क्लोराइड लेवल्स आर significantly raised more than 60 millimoles per liter now which which children require to undergo a sweat chloride testing so children who have a suspected cystic fibrosis need to undergo a sweat chloride testing for diagnosis these could be children who have recurrent lung infection who have a persistent moist or a wet cough Uh, they have bronchiectasis uh, they have significant amount of failure to thrive or not gaining weight or children who have persistent diarrhea uh, which is associated with fat in the stools now how is a sweat chloride test done so sweat chloride testing is a bit different from the usual or the normal test which we get now this test involve two steps the first step uh, is to extract sweat from the skin and in the next step the extracted sweat is analyzed for chloride levels so let's understand what what is done in step 1 so in step 1 uh, basically we stimulate the sweat glands to produce more sweat now this is done by a method which is called as pilocarpine iontophoresis and this is done by the gibson and cox method now in this method over the forearm of the child as shown in the figure uh, a filter paper is applied which contains a medicine known as pilocarpine now this pilocarpine stimulates our sweat glands to produce sweat now over this uh, filter paper of pilocarpine two electrolyte uh, two electrodes are applied and a very weak current is is uh, goes through these electrodes which drives the pilocarpine into the sweat glands of the child now this is done for a period of around 5 minutes after this is done uh, the the electrodes and the the pilocarpine filter paper is removed the skin is again cleaned and a fresh filter paper is applied on the where on the area where pilocarpine filter paper was there Uh, this is then uh, wrapped in a cling wrap to to secure it and for a period of around 30 minutes sweat is collected after 30 minutes the filter paper is removed the weight is taken and in the next step the sweat is extracted from the filter paper and in an analyzer it is assessed for the amount of chloride which is present and then a report is given now sweat testing is a very safe test it is not painful the current which goes is is very minimal and has been shown to be absolutely safe for young babies it does not involve any needles there is no preparation which is required for this test now children who have a sweat level or the sweat chloride level of more than 60 millimoles per liter are diagnosed to have cystic fibrosis So, for more information on cystic fibrosis and sweat chloride testing in children, do visit our website ankitparak.com. Thank you.